Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we have uh, folks logging in and joining us as we go along. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Andrea Rutledge. I'm president and CEO of CMAA. Uh, as soon as we have uh, folks logged in, we'll go ahead and get started. So the participants number has stopped clicking up or no, now it's started again. In any case, uh, in the interest of everyone's time and making good use of it this afternoon, um, I think we'll go ahead and begin. Um, as I said, I am Andrea Rutledge, president and CEO. This year, the CMAA annual meeting of the membership takes place both as a virtual event and later in person in San Francisco. Our objective is to make the information available to more people, both now in the webinar, later through a recording, and then again in person at the National Conference. And I want to thank everyone for joining us today. Uh, we have a lot to cover, and I'd like to hand things over to the chair of the CMAA Board of Directors, Khaled Naja, PECCM. Thank you, Andrea. Uh, first, I would like to thank Carly Trout, CMAA's Senior Manager, Professional Development, for moderating and facilitating the platform today, and to ask her to give you the instructions for submitting questions. Carly? Absolutely, thank you, Khaled. Um, as usual, if you have any questions during the presentation, please type them into the separate Q&A window and your Zoom control panel. Feel free to enter your questions at any point. However, we will address them at the end. You're also welcome to use the chat to make comments and connect with your fellow attendees. But again, for questions, please do enter them into Q&A. Back over to you, Pilot. Thank you, Carly. Uh, thank you and welcome everyone. CMAA 2024 will begin in just a few days at the San Francisco Marriott Marquis. And we wanted to share this information with as many people as possible, both now and later in San Francisco. Joining me today, are Luis Delgado, Kara Lenz, Christine Oates, and Andrea Rutledge. On behalf of the Board of Directors, the annual meeting of the membership is convened. As your leaders, one of our core responsibilities is to be good stewards of the resources our members provide to CMAA. Let's begin with our finances and a report from Kara Lenz, PE, CCM, CMAA's treasurer. Kara? Thank you, Khaled. As your treasurer, it is my responsibility to share the latest information about CMA's financial performance over the last 18 months. Let's begin with fiscal year 2023. As of December 31st, 2023, CMA's total revenue was $6 million, and expenses were nearly as much, which included invest investments to jumpstart our advocacy efforts and launch the newest credential, the CACM the Certified Associate Construction Manager. Fiscal year 23 audit is complete and our tax returns will be filed in November. For fiscal year 2024, the board approved a balanced budget that included additional personnel and more travel to industry conferences and chapter events. We also maintained support for the advocacy initiative as well as investing in our chapter leaders. Largely due to the continued growth of credentialing, we are forecasting successful financial performance for fiscal year 2024. Finally, CMA maintains both an operating reserve and long-term reserve to respond to significant developments. The combined reserves were at 3 million at the end of 2023. The recent history of CMA's reserves begins in 2018 when the board of directors approved a reserve target of 2.53 million and expected to reach it by fiscal year 2022. That goal was achieved earlier than expected due to both growth in markets and larger than expected net revenue during fiscal years 2020 to 2022. At the end of 2023, the board set a new target of 4.03 million to be reached by fiscal year 2026. We are well on our way to meeting that goal. That concludes the financial reports 
And now I'll turn things back to Colette and Luis to share more about CMA's accomplishments this year. Thank you. Thank you, Kara. Let's talk a little bit about CMA's achievements since last year's national conference. First, CMAA has more than 24,000 members, including individuals, professional services companies, and owners in the public and private sectors, as well as academic and associate members. CMAA has 30 regional chapters across the country. The newest is CMAA Great Lakes. CMAA added two mega members, U.S. Customs and Border, Border Protection and Amazon. CMAA 2023 was the highest attended national conference in our history, and the numbers look very good for San Francisco, although we won't know for sure until next Tuesday. Luis, let's talk about publications and professional development. Thank you, Khaled. We have significantly accelerated the production of CMAA guidelines and reports, releasing six publications in the last 12 months, with three this year. Also in 2024, CMAA released new Spanish translation of the capstone and standards of practice as part of making the body of knowledge accessible to more professionals. Next, the team has been adding new courses to the CMAA curriculum with the launch of the construction management principles, CCM buildup, ethical practices in construction management, advanced scheduling, becoming a better leader, and a new course on negotiating success. I'm especially excited to see CMA translating its materials into Spanish. CMA's strategic framework challenges the organization to be the voice of the program and construction manage management industry and the premier resource for professionals working in the built environment. In response, we have accelerated our development as an advocate for the profession and industry. CMA's advocacy initiatives launched in late 2023 under the leadership of the Government Advocacy Committee. CMA's advocacy is rooted in indirect or grassroots advocacy. Our policy priorities are simple. Promote the value of credentialed professionals a new federal uh, position classification for program and construction management professionals, preferences for credential professionals on federal programs and projects, and protecting qualifications-based selection for professional program and construction management services. Already, we've seen success with nearly 250 advocates taking over 630 actions, engaging with 168 federal lawmakers, the breakdown is 111 representatives and 57 senators to promote the construction and program management industries. If you haven't signed up yet, check out the CMA Action Center. Once you sign up, you will receive regular updates, opportunities to contact lawmakers, and ways you can make a difference for the industry. In fact, you can sign up and take action as soon as this webinar is over. Visit the CMA Action Center for more information, please. Also, during the framework's development, the board identified expanding CMAA's influence and activity internationally as a potential tactic for achieving outcomes related to project success and shaping the profession. International engagement by US-based associations requires significant strategic thought, planning, and early assessment. A 2023 task force completed a SWOT analysis and looked at the critical legal, financial, and governance areas. This year, a working group consisting of key committee chairs and former members of the Board of Governors has designed a work plan that advances the objectives in the strategic framework. Foremost among those activities is CMAA's first ever international roundtable. The roundtable will take place in San Francisco on Monday, October 28. We look forward to welcoming guests from Iceland, Korea, Japan, Mexico, the US and the UK. Their presence will enrich our event, and we look forward to the global perspectives they will bring to our discussions. And those are just the highlights. This year saw another working group create a tool to be published later this year that describes the roles and responsibilities of PMCM professionals across delivery methods. This new tool enables us to have conversations with owners, federal legislators, colleagues, 
and other stakeholders about the role program and construction management professionals can play on any and every project, regardless of delivery method. Our DEIB initiatives have expanded to chapters and to meeting the needs of historically underutilized businesses. The staff and volunteers are making good progress on the DEIB work plan that was approved by the board last year. And we continue to invest in the success of chapters through the leadership summit and the implementation of a new platform to support the streamlined chapter management operations. We'd be remiss if we didn't take a moment to share a few items on behalf of the CMCI Board of Governors and the CMA Foundation. Luis? There are over 14,000 credential holders. CMCI has seen record growth in applications for all three credentials. The CMIT Stackable Credential, the Certified Associate Construction Manager, and the Certified Construction Manager. This is very exciting along with the increasing number of RFPs that indicate preferences for CMCI credentials. A special shout out to the chapter leaders who are working with owners locally to demonstrate the value of credential professionals and who have advocated for preferences in RFPs. Next, the foundation is in its final phase of its current campaign, the Leadership Challenge. They are very close to meeting their goal and I challenge each and every one of you to make a gift before the end of the year to help put them over the top. All of this would not be possible without the generous contributions of time and talent from our members who volunteer throughout the organization, whether leading national committees or chapter boards, contributing to the validation conferences for new publications, authoring articles for MCX, or creating items for CMCI exams. All the work we described here, and these are only highlights, is guided by the CMA mission, vision, and strategic framework. The framework sets the direction for the future of the organization. It is a transformational contemporary expression of the association's historic purposes and looks to a future that is focused on project and program success. The growth and development of people as program construction management professionals and positioning CMAA as the voice of the profession. Within the new framework, core commitments remain. One, CMAA remains delivery method neutral. Two, CMA believes program and project success is more likely when PMCMs are engaged at the earliest point in the project or program life cycle. Three, program and construction management is rooted in a unique body of knowledge, such as scheduling, cost management, and contract administration and in project management practices. And four, owner engagement is critical to the continued growth and development of the profession. Collectively, the outcomes and strategies define the association's scope of work at least into 2026. Overall, the board and staff see the framework as an opportunity to take the organization to a new level of commitment, success, and relevance. Before I invite Christine Oates to talk about 2024 CMA election, I wanna pause and see whether any questions have come forward. We have received one question so far, but just a, remember, a reminder to all attendees, if you, if you have questions for our panel, please type them into the Q&A window. The question came in from Raul and he's wondering what is driving success in marketing CMAA credentialing, and how does it affect the overall financial standing of the organization? So if it would help, I can respond to most of that question. Please, Andrea. Um, I can tell you that um, the credential is to some extent marketing itself as um, mega member companies, uh, credential more people, the word spreads among those organizations about the quality of the credential and the value that it brings to project and programs. On the other side of the of every equation, of course, are owner organizations that are also seeing the value of having credential professionals among the consultants as well as their own staffs. Um, we are also seeing a very strong renewal rate for individuals who have credentials and who are renewing them uh, before they expire. 
And uh, overall, um, the credentialing program uh, contributes about 30% of CMAA's total revenue annually. Thank you, Andrew. From my own experience, as I uh, go through the market, I can uh, share in full transparency that owners now are really dictating CCMs in their contracts. And that's really driving a lot of credentialing as well, to mm -hmm. Andrew's point. Okay, and I don't see any other questions at this point. Thank you, Carly. Under the terms of the CMA bylaws, the immediate past chair of CMAA's board of directors leads the nominating committee. This year, that responsibility fell to Christine Oates, CCM, who will report the progress of this year's elections. Christine? Sure. Thank you, Khaled. The online ballot will close on October 24th, which means you still have time to vote for your leaders. This year, the CMA nominating committee selected the following candidates for the CMA board of directors. Starting with the initial three-year term, we have Bill Johal, CCM, FCMAA, Barbara Reynolds, PE, CCM, Janice Zahn, PE, CCM. And for a second three-year term, we have Katie Cho, CCM, Profil Kulkarni, AIA, CCM, Carol Lentz, PE, CCM, and Mike Mendick, PE, CCM. The ballot also includes officers for 2025. And they are Chair Luis Delgado, CCM, Chair Elect Carol Holland, PE, CCM, Treasurer Michael Mendick, PE, CCM, Secretary Dave Wisman, CCM, and Vice Chairs Katie Cho, CCM, and Carol Lentz, PE, CCM. Finally, the ballot also includes two candidates for the Foundation Board of Directors. They are Faraz Makram and Patina Kiliani. Please take a moment to log in and vote if you haven't already. And thank you to everyone who has agreed to serve. This brings the virtual edition of the 2024 annual meeting of the membership to a close. Thank you to the over 250 volunteers that, sh that shared their time and talent this year to make membership in CMAA valuable to you. On behalf of the CMAA staff and board of directors, Thank you for your support, and I look forward to seeing some of you, many of you, all of you in San Francisco for CMAA 2024. Harley, before we go, are there any other questions that have come in? No other questions. All right, then. Well, there are no other questions, so I want to thank everybody who joined us this afternoon, and please enjoy the rest of your day.